today from Kamakura, Japan on this Saturday, August 24th. My, we're getting close to the end of August. September is right around the corner next weekend. Well, it's been a good week, a very busy week. I got my autumn and winter crops finally planted. The starts are planted and they look pretty good. The string beans, the green beans are coming along nice, as are the jalapeno peppers. The tomatoes are pretty much all gone though. <laughs> Also this week I received some sweet corn from my dry cleaners. Very nice of them to bring them by, actually bring them all the way over to my house and drop them off. Yeah, so what I do is cut the corn off the cob and I freeze it and enjoy it for the rest of the autumn and into the winter. So I'll show you how I did that and all that happened over the last week. Hey. <laughs> well, here's a harbinger of the change of the seasons. The leaves on the cherry trees are the first to turn and fall, and in the springtime they're the first to leaf out. But this heat will persist <laughs> until early October. So let's see how things are doing out here on this Monday morning. Oh, nice. Our string beans are looking good. And over here, our carrots are coming up nicely. Very good, very good. Okay, what's happening in here? Well, our tomatoes are dead. Oh, there's one over there. <laughs> Just one. What's happening here? Soon I'll stake these. Jalapenos. Look like we'll get some late season jalapenos from these. And our lone lemon here. Well, at least I got one the first year. Uh, go ahead and take this. Not too bad. Let's take a look here. Let's see what's happening with strawberries. Not much. I'm not sure what's happening with this. Well, it looks good enough to eat. <laughs> no, it's quite bitter. Okay. How are the pineapples doing? The pineapples look okay. Look a lot better than they did before. Wanna go down? Come on, let's go. Go. Yeah, this squash plant has made it all the way over here to the steps. Look at that. What a long way to come. My goodness. Let's see what's happening with the jalapenos. Some flowering, but I don't see any fruits yet. Oh, what's this? There's a fruit, it's a squash fruit. Not sure if that's going to make it. It's a little yellowed at the end there. I need to come and cut this back. I think I'll, I think I'll go ahead and cut these mint plants while I'm here. better already. Uh, this branch of the squash didn't make it for some reason. Yeah, this whole branch here is dead. This one's still alive. But this one didn't make it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luckily. The Osmo Pocket 3 is okay. <laughs> okay, so I have to be careful cutting around this here. Let me start here. Well, I've got this offshoot here. This needs to go. Okay. And these vines from down under are coming up here and wrapping around my Squash plant here. There was a fruit here, but I lost it to blossom and rot. Uh oh, these are wanting to go down to the lower level here. Let's see if I can get this back up above. The tendrils have attached 
just something and they're not wanting to let go I don't want to break the stem so I have to be careful ah, I think I got it yeah here we go wow <laughs> look at all this okay I'm just gonna hang it over for now got it all good and I'll come back and tie that I got some used garden twine here so hopefully I can tie these up this is the first time I've used the railing for this purpose I was thinking of next year to grow some beans along the railing yeah this was the twine I used on the tomatoes I'll keep an eye on this one here so I think that looks pretty good here as well okay looks like we've got some okra here there's one there's another one nice and big yeah, it's a very good size one. Okay, I think that's it for today. Yeah, three pretty good sized okra. Very nice. Oh, there's one more here. <laughs> okay, so four now. <laughs> and we've got some tomatoes here. If they split, yeah, these are no good. Yeah, I'll let the critters have these. I think I found that fruit, the squash. Yeah, see, it's made its way all the way down to here. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. It's quite big and heavy, too. Look at that. I'm going to leave it covered. Yeah. yeah, just as protection. These bags are being shaded by the squash. I'm going to move them over a bit. Actually, uh, maybe I should move them over to here. shoot that I'm going to get rid of. It's got fruit on it, but it's blocking the way. I need to get into the habit of putting it in the compost bin. Oh well. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing, buddy? You like mint? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so reposition the jalapeno peppers. Yeah, hopefully they'll do well. And this is unbelievable that this plant has gotten way over here. My goodness. I'm way on the opposite side of the garden. Okay. It's a cloudy morning. A bit cooler than usual, but look at me. I'm still sweating quite a bit. I'm drenched. Totally drenched. And yeah, today is trash day unburnables and Hado and I are three hours late for our morning walk because it, it rained this morning but that's okay being three hours late is quite all right Tuesday morning and look how tall these plants are getting here this is the kabocha squash even growing a tendril here. Okay. Yeah, these are ready to go out. Yeah, but everything looks pretty good. The green beans are coming along nicely. See the carrots are putting on some true leaves. Can you see them? Very good, very good. Okay. Let's see how our starts are doing. Had the light off overnight. Okay. Well, they're looking good. The savoy cabbage, the paprika, turnips, mini hoxai. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to take these downstairs. Give them some natural light for a bit. Okay. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Can you hear that? The rain just started. <laughs> Luckily, Howard and I, we were on our way home. Got about another 200 meters to go. But yeah, the rain has started. And over my shoulder there, normally you could see Mount Fuji. But today, of course, you can't. It's too many clouds. So, luckily we didn't get drenched. Uh, not yet, anyway. <laughs> we'll see what happens on the way home. But luckily, there's a lot of tree cover on the way there. 
Well, I was going to do some planting today. I've got these to go out, but uh, it's raining, so I may have to wait until later on this afternoon, maybe. Yeah, it's slightly cooler than usual, but uh, it's still humid. <laughs> and I see our spider friend is still here. Okay, from a distance, everything looks good. Let's wait for the rain to stop. Then I'm going to process the corn that I got from the folks at my dry cleaners. Very nice of them. And I have four more cobs that I uh, got earlier. So what I'm going to do is blanch them and then take the corn off the cobs and freeze them. But I'm also going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to save the silk and make corn cob silk tea. I'm cutting off the brown parts on the top there. So that way I just have the golden silk here. Yeah, I'm constantly scouring online to find interesting techniques and recipes. And I saw this recently, thought I'd give it a try. Alrighty, so I've got a nice big bowl of silk here. I'll set this aside for later. Okay, I'm gonna chop these in half so that they'll all fit into the pot. Cut the ends off as well. And here I'm just wiping off any excess silk so that I don't have too much when I go to cut them. Okay, my water's come to a boil. I'm gonna add some salt. And then I'll add the corn. Yeah, this is not all going to fit. I'll fit as much as I can. And we'll do another batch. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take these off and let them cool completely before I remove the corn from the cob. Okay, and these can go right in. Okay. And give this another 10 minutes. Now for the corn silk tea, quite simple. Just add some hot water to this bowl here. Let me put this down, it's gonna get hot. And I'll just let that steep for about 15 minutes. It's time to decob these. I've got this new tool here, and I've never used it before, so I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping I'm doing it right. Let's see, ooh, I like that. Very nice, I like this. Gets it right down to the cob. Very good, very good. Now these three here I'm going to save and eat them off the cob. Here I have all of that corn and I'm going to bag this and freeze it. Okay, I've labeled my bags and I'll simply ladle this in. Okay, so I have some delicious and very sweet, sweet corn ready to go into the freezer. Very nice. Along with my okra and other goodies. This is some corn that I froze back in June. Alrighty, there we go. Hey, how do How you doing? Okay, here's the corn silk tea. Oh, perfect. It all fits into one jar. Very nice. Okay, so there we have it. Some nice corn silk tea. Yeah, it's a very good diuretic. Alrighty, this is my lunch today. A little bit late breaking my fast. I'm having some spare ribs from the slow cooker, some very sweet, sweet corn, and of course my fruit topped granola, kiwi, pineapples, and blueberries, and manuka honey. So that's how I'm breaking my fast today. Okay, well, it's almost 3.30 in the afternoon. The rain did stop, oh, mid-morning. But uh, as you can see, I was busy in the kitchen, so I decided to wait until after my siesta to come out and uh, do anything here in the garden, which is good, it's much cooler now. I just wanna break up this soil a bit. 
Okay, let me take these ropes off now. Alrighty, I'm going to top off these bags. I just want these rims to stand up straight. So here's the Savoy cabbage, and they look awfully spindly. But one thing that's really nice, they do open up quite nicely with these cups here. I like that. So let's start with the Savoy. I'm not going to disturb the roots, just set that in there. I'll put two in each bag to begin with here. Yeah, that opens up very nice. Yeah, this one here is becoming root bound. So we'll help, help it along just a little bit. It's, I'm sweating so much I had to get a towel here. Okay, next is the mini huxai. And these are looking a little better. So I've got three of these. Yes. So I'll put three in this one bag here. Looks good. Yeah, I think I'll continue to use these paper cups. They, they work nicely. Okay, the turnips are next. Yeah, the turnips can grow a little bit closer together. And once these really start growing, I'll thin them. I don't need a whole lot. It's just me and how to so I don't think she'll eat turnips. <laughs> so yeah, I think I can get four in, into this bag here. And then the paprika. I think I can get three in here. Oh I lost some soil. But the roots are okay. And now these here. I've got three of these cups here, so I'm gonna put one in each bag. And then I'm going to divide them, because it looks like I have two plants in each cup here. So I'll divide this here. I'll be careful doing that. Okay, let's see how we can do this here very gently. <laughs> very gently. Okay. Can you see that? There we go. There we go. I'll mound them slightly. Okay, good. That worked. Let's be careful. Gently pull it apart. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Feels so good on the skin. The sweaty skin. Very good. Let's press this down. Okay, I've got another bag here. Let's clean this up. Okay, and this is the Swiss chard. I'll just go ahead and plant this as a cluster, or should I divide it? Maybe I should divide this too, huh? Wouldn't hurt, do it while it's young. There we go. So that'll give me six. Yeah, I can see they're different colors. <laughs> this is red and yellow. Yeah, this one here should do well. Might lose a few of them, but I think the bulk will be fine. Okay. So, now we water all of this in. I want to be gentle here. So, since we had a rain earlier today, the bottoms of the bags are, are quite drenched, quite moist. So I just have to water the tops here where the fresh soil is. And the plants themselves are still moist, coming out of the cups. Okay, I think that's it. I just remembered I still have this bag here. These are cabbages as well from the spring. And I was down here early and I noticed how well the jalapenos are doing. Look at that. They look very nice. Even putting on fruits here. Very good, very good. Yeah, on this plant here, this squash plant is doing well. I'm not seeing any fruit. And I think the squirrels are helping themselves here. Yeah, uh, that, this, this I clipped off, I'm sure, but uh, there was some fruit here. And I got plenty more runners coming out. I can just coax them back in. Let me pull this one this way and get it through here. There we go. Okay, any more? No, that's it. 
But this is a bit disappointing. Yeah, see, these plants don't look very good at all. This one's dead or dying. This one doesn't look too good either. And I don't see any damage to the vine itself. So we'll just have to wait and see. Come on, Howdy. Come on. Jump. You can do it. Good girl. So I've got these hoops here. I'm going to try to cover these just temporarily. I just want to keep things from pecking at these uh, fresh leaves here. This is a bit long, but that's okay. I don't want to cut it. And again, this is just temporary for a couple days. Just tuck this under here like that. I've got plenty of bricks that can be tucked in here like this. Okay. Alrighty. So I think this looks okay. Wish me luck. Howdy, Frank. Really? Good thing I didn't have <laughs> yeah, let's see how our starts are doing the day after being planted. They look pretty good. Yeah, and they're beginning to stand up nicely. Okay, yeah, these are doing well. Soon I'll have to take off this covering. Ah, caught in the act. Goodbye. Well, a day later, and this plant here seems to be surviving, at least. As this, this one. The other one is gone. Yeah, this won't survive. Oh, nice little treat here. And they're cracked, so I'll have to eat them right away. Yeah, yeah I think this is it. See, we have some okra coming in. I'll wait a day or so for them before I pick them. Another one here. Yeah, we'll wait a while for that. So after uh, rainfall overnight, looks like we'll have a fairly nice day. Yeah, everything is nice and uh, rain soaked. Looks good. Looks very good. Okay. Let's go. Come on, girl. 